we go then. Surface confirmed. I think I need to install Windows 11. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. Just a couple of months ago, we were here on this stage together with you sharing the new vision for Windows 11. And the response has been incredible. Thank you. I mean, I have to say, the Windows insiders, devs, everyone, the fans hosting Windows 11. Cracking looking It iPad. has been uh, incredible. It's inspiring to all of us. Are you kidding me? I mean, it really is something that drives us. I do like Panos, so is Panos is awesome. For innovation. It's an enduring platform for each one of us to create. And it's home for billions to do their jobs, live their dreams, connect with the people they love. Windows 11 gives you a place that feels like home. It's an area of calm, security, openness, and it's designed to be centered around you. And when you use it, you will feel that. You really will. But to bring it to life, to use it, you have to put it in your hands. And really, that's all about the hardware. It's about the hardware completing that magical experience. Now you've seen, and hopefully you've seen, some amazing Windows 11 devices from Asus, HP, Lenovo, and more coming soon from partners like Acer, and Dell, and Samsung. Each are critical, each one of them critical to bringing Windows 11 to life. And there is some amazing innovation in these products. It's just awesome. Now today, we're going to show you innovation across the Surface product line. Now, from the beginning, Surface has always been a stage for software and hardware to come together. For the last 10 years, it's been a force for revolution in this industry, creating products that push the boundaries of what's possible. With Surface and Windows, businesses have changed the way they work. People have moved the world forward with their ideas, with their inventions, Poetry has been written, games created. Students have learned, teachers have taught. People have connected across countries, time zones, from their homes, from their offices. For us, for me, I mean, isn't that what it's all about? For sure. And it comes from how you feel when you use our devices. When the technology disappears into the background, helping you get into your flow, helping you get to that moment where your inspiration strikes, where you can just create. And there shouldn't be, and there's nothing between you and your ideas. Hmm. And we can see that when your idea flows so through true. your mind, through your heart, out your hands. When your creation comes out on that canvas. That is business. We talk about products being a reflection of the people who make them and use them. And in turn, what inspires me is seeing how you change the world with what you create. It's why every single surface is built to uniquely adapt to each one of us. It's why every single detail matters. From the tiniest Ooh. hinge to every pixel you will see on the display. It's like it's looking into my soul. Every piece of the experience that flows across Windows 11. All of it. Every part of it is designed to bring your creations, your learnings, your oh, music, a duo. your visions to life. That black as well. An elegant dance of the hardware and software Ooh. coming together. And today, we're going to challenge convention yet again. Introducing you to eight new devices new and mouse. that are all built Let's go. hand in hand with Windows 11. Lighting up amazing experiences across Microsoft 365, Edge, Teams, Game Pass, all your favorite apps. I can't tell you how pumped I am for you to see these devices, for you to get your hands on them. I mean, seriously, they really will light 
They like the mouse is a day one buy. We have a new Surface Go for families, frontline workers, and for amazing entertainment. We have a transformed Surface Pro lineup. It brings you incredible power in modern design, and the details throughout this product are surreal, resulting in a product that feels magical. I mean, it's got to be one of my favorite games, surfaces games, ever. Games, 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 games. We'll also show you what's next for our dual screen devices and apps with Surface Duo 2. Critical for a changing world as we continue to see people every single day needing to be more productive on their mobile devices. And yeah. sometimes, sometimes, it's the smallest details. We've said the smallest details that can have the biggest impact. And you're going to see this with our brand new Surface Adaptive Kit and our Oceans Plastic Mouse. In fact, every product you'll see today was designed by a team thinking and focusing on both accessibility and sustainability to help all of us collectively rise about to the, the climate, yo. an inclusive and accessible future for all of us. Now let's dig up some more minerals. We crafted each product to adjust to the way you work learn and play because surface itself is original by design it is built for you it's built for everyone. it's only built for me if i buy actually, it actually it's built for anyone who has the future let's be mind. fair right now to begin this journey today i want to introduce you to peter kiriaku he's here to tell you about the innovations in our two-in-one line and if you stick around until the end i'll have one more pretty cool product probably to share with you sorry what I'm here in our design studio on campus. In this room, we built the first generation of Surface Pro, designed for Windows with touch. And today, nine years later, we're pushing I remember the boundaries that event. Again. I'd like to introduce the ultimate two-in-one, Surface Pro 8. I bought the original Surface RT and then I ended up getting the RT2 and Surface Pro 3. I was all Surface back then. Then I was also all Windows Phone and everything else. In your slim pen. Very nice. Thunderbolt 4. Game with Xbox Game Pass. It's a very nice... Uh, X Cloud device, this isn't it? The Surface Pro 8, purpose built for Windows 11. This device combines the power of a laptop with the flexibility of a tablet and every angle in between. We're bringing the best of our Surface Pro heritage to life in a new design built on the Intel Evo platform with quad core 11th gen Intel processing and an innovative thermal design. It what keeps call? the device thin, light, no and productive, call. delivering over 43% more compute power and 75% faster graphics. And Surface Pro 7. And we're bringing up to 32 gigs of RAM and high speed Thunderbolt 4 connectivity. All this with 16 hours of battery life. This makes Surface Pro 8 the most powerful two in one in the market. This innovation matters. It keeps you productive, it keeps you connected. With the iconic full range kickstand and detachable keyboard, studio microphones, and a front facing camera, not on the side, but centered right where it should be. It lets nah. you pick just the right angle to look and sound your best when you're on a Teams call or a Zoom call. Dolby Atmos creates an immersive sound that wasn't, that's nothing like you've heard. That wasn't a job of anybody. Before. Nobody. Now, I want to talk to you about this beautiful high-resolution 13-inch pixel sense display. With super thin bezels and over 5.5 million pixels, Dolby Vision, 120 hertz refresh rate, Ooh. and for the first time, we're bringing adaptive color technology, which naturally adjusts to the color temperature and lighting of your environment. And the it light really true shines cloud gaming on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Just grab your controller or use the touch controls and play Psychonauts 2 and over 100 Damn. console games from anywhere. You could have made that run at like more than 20 now, frames. It's not just about Jeez. gaming, but the screen is also about great pen and touch. We're excited to announce Surface Slim Pen 2. Woo! With magnetic storage and Pens. charging. Your pen is always with you and it's always ready when you have that instant thought or a moment of inspiration. And when you pick up your pen... Windows 11 brings up a customizable pen menu 
that get you inking and into your flow quickly. Another big part of our product development includes custom silicon, a processor we call Microsoft G6. Ooh. When your pen hits the canvas, the G6 processor and Windows 11 come to life. And for the first time with digital ink, there's tiny mechanical vibrations that mimic the feel of pen on paper, sending tactile signals through the touch receptors in your fingertips. It's a subtle interaction that makes a huge difference. With our sharper pen tip, <laughs> zero pressure powerful. force, and ultra low latency, Surface Slim Pen 2 and Pro 8 it was definitely the same frame rate. Smoother flow and greater control. Good stuff. Okay, you can tell I really love this pen and Surface Pro 8. I think the experiences yeah. are incredible. Now, I want to introduce you to an expert creator. Alexandria, thanks for being here. Thanks, Pete. As an illustrator, I'm honestly loving the new Pro and Pen. I spend a lot of time outdoors painting with traditional tools, mostly watercolor or pastel. But it's a lot of setup. And so I've always wanted a portable digital device that would allow me to start paintings on the go, but then take them back into the studio to finalize them. The Pro is super lightweight and portable. It feels like a sketchbook or a journal that I would normally carry with me. I also love how the pen is always I mean, there, to be fair, they've been, ready, so they've been lightweight and easy to use since the Pro 3. On the other day in Adobe Fresco. And even the Pro 4 the when they had the Core M models accurate, that were just fanless. Like, no they, they were lightweight. Lag and the sharp tip feels really precise and responsive. It's also, honestly, the most comfortable digital pen that I've That I was used. ages the ago. The tactile signals are such a nice addition. I didn't even realize that when I use a paintbrush on paper, I actually get some feedback from the brush itself. Uh, and that's how this feels. Natural, subtle, and it Ever helps realized? me connect with the painting like I would with a brush on paper. When I'm not outdoors, I'm in studio creating high resolution images for children's books and games that sometimes have a ton of layers. So I need power. I don't think she's realized that she's like drawn on the inside of her arm. Blender. This is the first portable device that I hope it washes out my professional workflow. It still runs like a dream when I'm stress testing images at 300 DPI with hundreds of layers. The keyboard allows me to use all the keybinds that I've grown to rely on as a professional artist. So I can take this from a casual tablet to a portable workstation in seconds. The Surface Pro 8 and the Surface Slim Pen 2 save me time and help me stay in my creative flow. And I'm excited to keep building them into my process. Thanks, Alexandria. The partnership between Microsoft and Adobe brings productivity and creativity together. Hundreds. Creating these truly inspiring scenarios. We continue to push experiences on pen to help people be more creative and also bring new ways of communicating, being more thoughtful, more engaged. The benefits of writing with pen are incredible, from boosting memory, oh, space to improving mental and physical health. Surface Pro 8 is packed full of great features, from the display to the keyboard. I think I'm going to have to install the the pen. Windows 11, this right? This is the powerful Pro we've ever built. Big keywords for everywhere. For Pro X, developers have been optimizing the app specifically for ARM. 64-bit emulation is built in, so the apps you need are ready for you. Hmm. Now, the next product I want to talk to you about is our most portable two-in-one. I want to introduce you to Surface Go 3. This is our fastest, most capable Go yet. Go 3 brings all the features that matter in a two-in-one. They're always now, faster though, aren't with they? With 10th gen Intel processing, Surface Go is 60% faster than before. Only 10th and the best gen? Part, Boo. Windows 11 makes the experience great for everyone, from frontline Boo. workers to fans. To tell you more, here's David. For the past hey, eight David. years, I've lived and worked here, from my home in Minnesota. And from here, my family and I have fun, play games, watch shows, and plan our adventures together. Today, I want I, to talk I've to never you watched a show on a laptop and Windows 11 in the living room. Light up together. Why would the family the watch my been using it? a show on a Windows laptop in the living room when you've got a TV? For my nine-year-old to do what he wants to do. My family has their own account with their apps, settings, and data. And with Windows Hello, he can sign in instantly and securely. Launching apps is effortless with touch, and it's easy for him to put them where he wants them with the snap feature. And Windows 11 adapts to how he wants to use it. He can get everything set up just the way he likes it and switch back and forth with ease. And with He's got a to-do list? He can also play his favorite Xbox Game Pass games. My seven-year-old loves catching up with her cousins that live in Ireland. With Microsoft Teams chat built into Windows How old 11, is this kid? in one touch, she can connect with them on a video call. How are you? When she's doing school projects, Surface Go None will help do her best None. work. She loves nature, and she's learning how plants make oxygen for the planet. Surface Pen lets her creativity shine. 
Sometimes, though, it can get busy at home, and it can be hard to be a good parent. Who needs Especially Extinction Rebellion, I, right? Meetings, and this kid to solve the climate crisis. The with Windows 11 family safety limits, the kids have the freedom to explore online while I have peace of mind. I love this family safety widget. I can Basically, swipe in and see you take the tablet, kids, and entertain yourselves. I've got work to do. Outside. And Microsoft Edge has this great new feature we've been using called Kids Mode. The kids can browse a bunch of awesome sites in a kid-friendly environment with built-in guardrails. When it's time to relax, we grab Surface Go to stream our favorite movies together, like Luca in the Disney Plus app. The 10 and a half inch display on Surface Go is tuned for diagonal viewing, which is key when we're watching together. And I mean, if they're Dolby aiming audio, this at kids, sounds great too. I, why would kids have this over I an iPad? I to keep my kids safe, happy, for and instance, and part really. of that means thinking about their future on the planet. And Microsoft's commitments to sustainability make me proud to be part of the team. And an iPad still cheaper. A future for them. Our vision isn't achieved through the launch of a single feature or product. But every step matters, which is why, on behalf of the team, I'm delighted to announce the Microsoft Ocean Plastic Mouse. The shell of the mouse is made up of 20% recycled ocean plastic. The box is 100% recyclable, and we make it easy to ship back an it's old mouse It's made up of 20%. So what about the rest of it? I look for any opportunity I can to talk to my kids about ways to protect the planet. And this oh, yeah. Helps start Sorry. That conversation. Thanks, David. My bad. With Windows 11 and this new lineup, everything you love about the two-in-one family just got better. In addition to our desire to build great products, we're also focused on how we build them, with sustainable practices and materials like those you saw in the ocean plastic mouse. And we're focused on who we build them for, huh. making sure our products are inclusive by design. To talk to you more about this, I'd like to introduce you to our fantastic research team leader, Chris. Our mission at Microsoft is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And it's this mission that drives our dedication to inclusive design. As we build products, there is a belief that drives us. When yep. we don't intentionally include, we unintentionally exclude. By working okay. to try to understand the specific lived experiences of people with disabilities, we make better products. No, they don't. Products that are accessible by design. Products like the Xbox I mean, nobody does. controller, which empowers gamers with limited mobility to play and connect. The adaptive with other controller is fucking sick. But like that thing is we are amazing. To learn more as we work closely and partner with people with that, disabilities. That, 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 that thing and is today, crazy good. We are excited to take the next step on that journey. Now I want to welcome my friend and colleague Dave Dame to tell you more about how accessible technology has empowered him in his life. I was born with cerebral palsy, and I use a power wheelchair. When I was born in 1971, my parents were told, Dave may not live past the age of 12. Jeez. Dave may never be able to speak clearly, if at all. And even if he does, don't expect much because there's not much that someone with Dave's condition can do to have a full life. They actually advised my parents How times to change. put me in an institution. Holy shit. Luckily, my parents chose a different path. When I was younger, I was constantly asking myself, what do I want to be when I grew up? <laughs> this year, when I turned 50, I started thinking, how do I want to leave the world when I'm no longer here? I decided to pivot my career and join Microsoft on their journey to enable people like me to leverage technology to have their best lives what a dude. Hopefully with a lot less struggle than I had to endure. I want to reflect the people that struggle with the things that non-disabled people have the privilege to take for granted. Like opening a device, setting up their screens to create and be productive while not compromising the aesthetics in their devices, accessories, or software. It's not simply about creating accessible technology. It's about what the person can achieve and experience because of that technology. Hi, hello, how are you? Tricky business, isn't I'm it? I'm so excited to see you. <clears throat> when you're trying to cater to so many All right, disabilities so we're here to talk and about the Surface Adaptive Kit. There's so much. It's been quite a journey adaptive for the kit. Team. 
and not just the internal teams, but our partners and occupational therapists who we've worked with to really try to empower their patients and them to find more effective technology solutions. Right, because one of the goals of occupational therapists is really to help their patients rediscover their independence in using technology or assistive technology. And we have seen some creative solutions. Um, everything from applying glue dots to the key set so someone who's blind can easily locate keys, um, to a kickstand having a hole drilled in it so someone could apply a lanyard just to open it up. And believe it or not, I actually used to use a fork to leverage to open up my laptop screen. Damn. And this is where we saw a, a real opportunity to help. Well, let's quit talking about it. Let's show it. Imagine yeah. using a fork to open your laptop screen. Every time you're using it, you try not to like the dig the fork into important. your screen. What I mean is, I get to experience unboxing a new product. I don't like anything going near my screens, let alone a fork. I, it'd drive me mad. So I'm able to open it up. I can use the lid that instantly pulls all the cards out right away. Here you go, Chris. Thank you, Dave. Okay, you can apply these stickers to your keyboard. It's raised so you can feel it, but also it's high contrast. And the different shapes makes them very distinguishable from one another. Yeah, taking you down to the keycap labels. So the keycap labels are really designed for someone who is blind. They mm. fit perfectly on the Surface keyboards. The port labels are used for taking um, a label and applying it to a cable, yeah. and then applying the corresponding port tab. So it works well for people that are partially sighted in that and as well. And it just fits seamlessly into the device. And then this tab is a lanyard tab. We've attached it to the kickstand so that this can be easily pulled out with the lanyard and you're ready to go. That's much more elegant than using a fork. Exactly. <laughs> it really allows people to easily, quickly modify their device so they're spending more time using the device and less time trying to set it up. What I like about this is it allows me to have a product I can use and be proud of. And that was the intention when we saw this as a real opportunity to provide solutions that you gotta give it like to Microsoft. They really are sort of pushing exactly this uh, accessibility we're all be thing. Someday. Just some of us be Why hard and they're doing some so good when you're stuff. Designing for products for someone like me today, we're actually building for our future selves. We're all gonna lose our ability at some point. None of us can predict when that will happen. But when it does, yeah, I'm true. really glad that we're gonna have products and accessories that people can use whenever and whatever they might need. Now, inclusive design is critical to our mission. It's critical to our belief. The products are to reflect the people that make them and the people who use them. Creating accessible products with and for people with disabilities, it starts with creating for one and extending to many. And we're gonna continue to push ourselves to reflect the more than 1 billion people with disabilities in the world with every single product. That's a lot of people in it. Now we've already seen a lot today and we you really don't realize how many awesome people do have you. disabilities. This next one, one of my I mean, I have one. Mobile device, I don't look disabled, but activity designed to be the perfect companion to your Windows you know, 11 PC and I can't wait for you to see. Many people don't. It. Shilpa's here to introduce it to you. <laughs> Enjoy. Luckily, I don't re I don't require any accessibility features, but When we features, launched the first Surface Duo last year, some point you will. it was an introduction to an entirely new category for mobile productivity. Oh, here we go, Today, then. we are incredibly excited to introduce you to the next generation of Surface Duo for your life, your work, and your Surface. I wonder if they've changed the hinge at all, because it seemed to be really good on the uh, original duo. Yep, there we go. Not so sure about that still. Triple eight's a bit much. Should have been an 870. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I like that. Hello? Fingerprint reader in the power button, as you would hope for. Twelve megapixels, sixteen megapixel ultra wide. That's so me, honestly. Like, Microsoft always seemed to sort of nail it with the second iteration of things like that. Like they did it with the Surface Pro. Like the second one was a lot better than the first, and then the third was just amazing. Look at that. They've actually curved it on... Oh, mate. And it works with the pen. Does that twinkle twinkle little star? Works with, with uh, for gaming really well. I already want it. I already want it. God damn it. This is Surface Duo 2. Mobile productivity powered by two screens with virtually unlimited postures. Having access to two things side by side helps me do so much more. It's just like working on my Windows PC, but with the flexibility of taking my phone wherever I go. We built this phone for people who love power, speed, and beauty. That actually looks Our really nice in that sort of graphite as well. At Surface, obsess over every aspect of hardware and software design and continue to push the boundaries of what is possible. And that's exactly what we've done with Surface Duo 2. Our team of engineers have partnered closely with Qualcomm to build an incredibly fast and powerful dual screen device. All of this. Still worried about that AAA though. Meticulously crafted to become the world's thinnest 5G device. We've enclosed all of this technology in beautifully nano-coated 3D glass. And it's available in both Glacier and Obsidian tones. And when you unfold Obsidian. it, you'll find two beautiful PixelSense Fusion displays that expand to an even larger 8.3-inch display with high refresh rate of I mean, people are going about the bezels on the inside, but I, you know, if you're holding it, you don't want to be holding half a billion the touch-sensitive part. Second. This makes browsing, scrolling, and writing feel exceptionally smooth. The curved displays bring the two sides even I like closer that. together, connected by the most I, I think that's clever. and reliable hinge mechanism we've ever engineered at Surface. With the toughest glass from Corning protecting the displays, you can write and draw on your Surface Duo with confidence. To make sure that your Surface Slim Pen is always with you and charged, we're introducing Microsoft Surface Duo 2 Pen Cover. To help you Ooh. stay in your moment, and not worry about missing anything important. We've designed Surface Duo. So it can charge it. Can so this the is what they were on about. They said it's got some sort of wireless charging, but not QI charging. charging or Qi charging, if you call it that. So it just charges, charges the pen. Beautiful and subtle light glows show you incoming calls. Incoming See, that's showing up the Fold 3 right there. That is showing up the Fold 3. The Fold 3, there's no way to attach it unless you get a case with, dual with the S Pen. Our intelligent software <clears throat> algorithms and multi-frame processing will remove noise and bring out natural I'm not sure about the cameras. The wide-angle camera utilizes every pixel in the sensor for faster and more accurate autofocus. To make the autofocus performance even more consistent and faster in challenging low-light conditions, we've also added a time-of-flight sensor. The ultra-wide camera uses intelligent lens distortion correction no, it, it just it just snapped on magnetically. Natural pictures. You will love how. I mean, I imagine there's I imagine there's a case for it as well, but like. Low angle shots with the unique hinge on duo. The telephoto camera has a. Because the pen needs to be charged. Professional photographers use to capture so beautiful it snaps portraits. onto the phone. And our custom magnetically. Built camera app will launch across both. And it's charged in it. Giving you an instant preview of the shot that you just took. It's really so fucking cool. I mean, that's even better. We I think they've done similar with. Sur I don't know if they've done similar with the Surface the uh, Pros so before. Can I can't remember. Changes to the photo without covering it up. You can quickly crop. Make I'll have to double check that. Press and hold to see if you like the changes, and apply filters. And you can don't write want a filters. personal note and send it to your teammates 
by dragging it right into your Teams chat. The pictures and videos that you can capture on Duo 2 are truly stunning, as are the range of dual screen experiences that only come to life on Surface Duo 2. The experience on the Surface Duo 2 is smooth. Yeah, that obsidian and color looks really nice. I quickly swipe I didn't, to access my I've never really been keen on like a black device documents, or a tasks, dark, dark gray device, meeting, but that looks really good. All in one view. I can also join my team's meeting with a single tap. Now I like to span my team's app which allows me to see both the video of the attendees and the content being presented. That's I can use cool. my pen to contribute to our shared whiteboard session as well. I spend a lot of my time in email, and now I can set Duo to auto span Outlook. So I can take advantage of both these screens on my phone to triage my email faster. For all our gamers out there, Game Pass delivers an amazing experience on Surface Duo 2. We've got more than 50 games with touch controls and more coming all the time. And thanks to 5G and high refresh rate fusion displays, you can effortlessly stream Xbox games from the cloud or your own Xbox console right here on your Surface Duo 2. In partnership Ooh. with Gameloft, we are today announcing three standalone games which are completely Asphalt. optimized for Surface Duo. Asphalt Legends 9. Shocker. Modern Combat 5 and Dungeon Hunter 5. My Surface Duo 2 enables me to access all my phone content right on my Windows PC. The newly redesigned Your Phone app puts my Surface Duo notifications front and center. I can use all my Android apps from my phone directly on my PC. I can multitask, I can open different phone apps each in their own window, and I, I can also <sighs> pin my favorite apps to my taskbar. I understand for easy access. this. And it's easier or than ever to move content between my devices. Moving content, that's content useful. From my but phone surely the whole point of this is that you can do Windows all of this 11. on the, the duo. It's like, a seamless isn't that the point? Stay productive between both isn't that the devices. point? Surface Duo 2. Why then bring the, the laptop out? This is there to replace it. And we surely. can't wait to see how you make it your own. Thank you. I don't, I don't. Duo 2 is awesome. Something like an Ultrabook. Awesome, the Duo's got to replace that. It has to. It's the most powerful Surface we've ever made. We made it for Windows 11. We made it for creators. We made it for this hybrid world. In essence, we made it That's my you. opinion. But there you go. Take a look. Oh, here we go. Is this uh, Surface Book? Did you say it was that? Thirty fifty Ti. Oh, hello. That's new. Thunderbolt 4. Well. That's a lot of vintage. Oh, wow, it is the same as that concept. Magnetic charge, same as on the duo. Omnisonic speakers with Dolby Atmos. That's really cool. That's that's a big design change. I hope you that's that amazing. Video. It brings me back to the original studio, and it and it really just starts to show you this incredible, incredible product. With Surface that's going to be expensive. Studio, built <laughs> on the heritage of both Surface Book and Surface Studio, bringing you the power of a desktop 
but also that portability needed in a laptop. And then the creativity of a studio all in one. This is a product you put on your desk, you pull it towards you, and it starts to transform for creatives, professionals, it transforms for developers, gamers, video editors, and that performance, the power, everything you can take out of this device. We are in a time right now where we need to be able to move seamlessly. You can. From home to work, from office to office, and everywhere. As soon as you sort between. of snap that screen out and it, fold it, it slightly really towards the mouse pad, it just looks like a studio then, doesn't it? Studio it's it's just when it, when it, it goes to that you, angle. It work with you. Take the power of it. Take the simplicity of it. Take it in any form. And really what you can get done, what you can create, it's, it's It just it's looks so immense. nice. Now, it's also wow. gorgeous. I, which, you know, to me, I, like the details, they really come to life. When you open this product, it's just better if I'm showing you. I got to show you the product. Chase, can you, <laughs> can, um, if you always said you can move with me. So how about you move with me? I love this stage, but let me just grab a device. Brittany, do you mind if I use your Surface? Go just really, on. I just want to show the audience. And then, Bob, can I use your table? Because um, I'm just going to step down here. Is the lighting okay if I come down here? And then I'll, should I use this camera, Paul? Camera B. Camera B. Oh, awesome. By the way, it's awesome back here. And it's so different, right, than being on the stage. It's so interesting. Kind of act like all it's right, not all me, set uh, up this, this but it is. <laughs> okay, take a look it's a good at the product. effort, but it is. things to think about. The hardware, I mean, Windows 11, all of it kind of centers around you. When you get in, it's unbelievably fast. Instant on, Windows Hello 2.0, just logs you in. 14.4 inch pixel sense display. It acts as a 15 inch monitor to your eyes and to your work, but it feels portable like a 13 inch device. So you get both worlds of just what you need. Uh, you look at it as a laptop, which is so, this is where it starts. It is a laptop, so it has to type incredibly well. And I think this is the best keyboard I've put my hands on. And it sounds amazing. I know people go on amazing. about the sound matters. Apple the hardware, itself, like Apple so software precise. being better and stuff. But now, I'm show Windows, you laptops, and devices like, like this absolutely put you, MacBooks to shame. It's emotional, right? So I pull this product Just completely. I pull this product towards me, and I get, I get excited. You know, I love it. And you wonder and how you can pay so much for a MacBook when you see stuff like movie, that. Play a game, get on a call, and then they don't even have touch. Things, so smooth, you just fold it down. It's crazy. If we can get a shot from up top, if we can just take a look at it. When you're in studio mode, there is so much that can happen here. So this is when you want to be creative. But look, the pen is underneath. I'll pull it out. It's charging, never gets lost, always available. I open whiteboard. You can see how fast it is. When I draw, I can feel the haptic feedback. So it feels like I'm drawing on paper and I can get to that precision that I want. And then ultimately I can create. And then at any time, like a normal pen and paper, I can erase and get through it. I think this, this itself kind of brings you into the product in different ways. Then it clicks in. The pen goes underneath. You basically bring it back up oh. studio mode into laptop mode, and you're back at that. into the form that you're so familiar with every day. Man. <laughs> Thank you for letting Thank me use it. That thing is nice. I love, I absolutely love how versatile this device is and how versatile it can be. But I have to tell you, this product is a powerhouse. It's the combination of desktop level CPU of Intel's 11th gen quad core processor and NVIDIA's RTX 3050 Ti GPU, they come together giving you power needed for whatever you want to create. And it's a laptop. I mean, how amazing is that? Laptops are so essential today. They're essential to how we work, how we play, how we create, and most importantly, how we connect with each other. And whether that's on Teams, Zoom, WhatsApp, Laptop Studio takes it to the next level. Our new high-definition 1080p camera creates brighter, May. sharper images, especially in low-light conditions. And the experience further enhanced by AI features developed specifically for Surface and Windows 11. And like our cloud class face tracker, it perfects exposure and lighting for you on video calls, recognizing and enhancing your face in the toughest lighting conditions, no matter what you're wearing, whether it's a hat, sunglasses, a mask, doesn't matter. What did I just say? When using this camera, you look Great. And and don't forget, matters. you'll be able to use the NVIDIA Our broadcast features with it as exactly well. Exactly what you need with advanced echo control and Surely. full duplex, ensuring your voice is Ti in there. perfectly crystal clear on every single call you make. And even when two people are talking at the same time, or you're in a noisy environment, nothing drops. It's just clear. This entire device, there's so much that comes together on it. 
I think you're going to love it. I already now, let do. Let me take a minute and talk to the devs out there. I already tell do. You how powerful Surface Laptop Studio can be specifically for you. I mean, this laptop, it can compile code like nobody's business. Our AI dev team created that face tractor. They use the GPU power on this machine to prototype out the neural network. And the results, I mean, they are stunning. So it's called La Surface it, Laptop Studio. It. Microsoft loves developers. We always have. And we want to empower you with the best tools to create. So the Surface Book is dead. To native apps. And with software like Windows 11 and now the hardware like Surface Laptop Studio, there is no limit to what you can do. Nothing. Shame they no couldn't do that earlier and call the, the Surface Duo the uh, Surface Book. Share that with you and tell you more about it. That would have made more sense. Dev, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey friends, during the day at Microsoft, I'm a manager and a programmer and I work on opensource.net and C-sharp. But at night, I've got a blog and a podcast and a YouTube channel and even a TikTok that I work on. Fantastic. So I'll go from coding and writing specs to recording and editing videos. And I have to multitask pretty much all the time. I just like love making stuff. Now this is the first Surface hardware that I've been involved in from the very start. Selfishly, I want a laptop that's got a ton of CPU and a ton of RAM because it all saves me time. And of all the laptops that I've used over the years, Laptop Studio is the only one that felt like it could keep up with me. In fact, here I am in Visual Studio 2022, and I'm actually working on my podcast website. I've even got Windows Terminal and the Windows subsystem for Linux. Here I'll go Jesus, into a full dude. build of my website. And when I got hands-on with this device for the first time, He's I got a very the small pupillary distance, yes. features that I didn't really know that I needed. This display is 120 That's hertz. the optical assistant coming out of me. than any other laptop I've used before. And this glass precision touchpad, it, it feels great. You know, it's the right size. It's really responsive. People who know me, they know that I like to customize things. I'm a it's a pain for glasses. Big mouse gang, so I've got a giant green cursor. But I've also Especially higher prescriptions and very focals. The feedback the way I like it. So it feels really cool to click. Now, when it comes to performance, Service Laptop Studio brings it. It builds source code fast as my desktop. My desktop can build ASP.NET from source in about a minute 45. Laptop Studio does it in a minute 15. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and a super fast SSD. It's built my website in just eight seconds. The performance is bananas. Now, I love that I could be working anywhere. But what if I want strawberries? Things. And then I can later dock in and I can multitask with more screen space. Sorry. I'm going to go and dock to my desk here. Ooh, hello. Look at that. Now that I'm fully docked at my desk, I've got two external 4K displays. We all like to be fully docked. Dock. Am I right? Or with this device, I've got Thunderbolt with even more options. Something I love doing when I'm docked is to put the laptop studio into stage mode. This way I can make the most of it. It's come closer to me and it's very natural for me to be coding on my displays and then using my thumb to scroll through a web page that I'm referring to on laptop studio. I can even bring over my big keyboard and mouse or I can grab my Surface Slim pen that's been snugly recharging under here. You know, I'm gonna undock because sometimes I don't find inspiration here. I'll find it somewhere else keeps things separate in my mind. So what I'm going to do is also keep my virtual desktop separate. Right now I'm in the development desktop and I'll use a four finger swipe to switch over to the video editing desktop. Now this is perfect. Now we can review the latest cut and I can talk to someone and maybe make some edits on the fly. Now I'm going to do something non-typical. I'm going to edit video with a pen. I'm going to move the screen down into studio mode. Ooh. And look, the Windows 11 UI changes. And here in Premiere Pro Beta, it changes too. It's aware. It knows. Now I can use the slim head to move the playhead around. It's a really cool way to do something that's traditionally done with the mouse. Now, as I start to wind down for the night, I might close a few things so I can have some fun. I can take the laptop studio anywhere to game. And on this trip, I brought my Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. Here's Sorry. Forza Horizon 5. Of course, it's Forza Horizon 5. Locally on high settings. This is a game changer product for me. It's the fastest surface I've ever owned. It's a great form factor. All this amazing hardware, plus Windows 11, it's a creator's dream. I that was the editing with the pen, just moving the slider. As much as I do. And that was it. Thank you very in, much. In uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro Beta. Everything you saw today, all these products will be available. So obviously, Windows 11 starting. Things like Resolve October and whatnot are not going to so work with I can't it. Wait for you to get your hands on straight these. away. You can go ahead and pre-order today. Now it took thousands of people across Windows and Surface not. and Microsoft to pull these products together for you, and they put their heart, soul, their passion into it. These products reflect this team. Yeah, man. I'm so grateful for what you do, and we we congratulate want to you. yourselves. Nothing inspires us more than watching you use products like these to change the world. And here to say a few words, Satya. Hey, of course, we've got our Satya on. The past 
18 months have reminded us how essential the PC is to work, life, learning, and connecting. And with Windows 11, we have renewed sense of the role Windows plays in the world. It offers personal agency and real choice to users. It's a stage for the world's creation. It's a platform for platform creators. With each new generation of Windows, we also unlock the next generation of hardware innovation across our entire ecosystem. And with our Surface News today and the new devices many of our OEM partners have announced in recent weeks, we are seeing this come to life once again. For us, Surface has always been a catalyst for innovation across the entire ecosystem. It's pioneered it worked. form factors in it definitely the worked. interaction models and created entirely new categories of devices. Windows laptops today, look like shy on that legacy, until the Surface came along. Category, creating a new laptop category and reimagining what you can do with two screens. But when it comes to innovation, we must advance both the frontiers of technology and its impact in the world. Technology for technology's sake serves no one. If you're serious about innovation, you must also be serious about accessibility for everyone and the sustainability True. of our most finite resource, our planet. To create a more accessible future, we need advances that help the more than one billion people with disabilities around the globe. It's why we are working to make every device more accessible without ever compromising on form or function. And to create a more sustainable future, we are committed to becoming carbon negative, zero waste, and water positive by 2030. You see this commitment reflected across the value chain from sourcing of our materials to the packaging. Finally, we believe the cloud and edge AI together will define the future of every application. Take the laptop studio. With the AI models running on the device, combined with the power of Teams, we're able to optimize your voice, your video, no matter your background noise or lighting. These same advancements also apply to applications people use every day to create and connect across our ecosystem. Whether it's reframing videos in Adobe Premiere, creating music with staff pad, or even reviewing an ultrasound with GE Healthcare's Volusion. This is just the start. I've been using Windows 11 on many of the devices you saw today, and I can't tell you how much of a game changer they have been for me. Ultimately, though, we build Windows for you, so you have the tools I think to I need to install Windows 11. turn those dreams into reality. We are so excited to see what each of you will create with these new devices and how together we will shape the next wave of computing for everyone. Thank you all so very much. I want the Duo 2 and the Laptop Studio. And that's apparently it. Just like that. Wow. That was that was good. It's good. I uh, I, I like that. I'm actually really impressed. I'm really really impressed. I was actually surprised by how much how much I want the Duo too. That actually looks really good. I just love the way they've curved the display on the inside with the of the hinge. So you can see notifications and stuff when it's closed. And you were the same, Sin. As soon as that flashed up and you got that little tone, I was like, oh, ooh. Ooh. I, oh. But we know it's probably going to be about 1,500 quid. So, you know, just give me, just give me another two or three years to uh, get the money together. Sorted. Surface Go, uh, was it Surface Go? 
That looks meh. Surface Pro 8, pretty good update. Laptop Studio, which is basically replacing the, the Surface Book. Really nice. Really, really nice. Especially with the 3000 series uh, NVIDIA GPU in there, 3050 Ti. Good. Like it. Like it a lot. And, uh, yeah. That, that's... Windows 11 looks good as well, I've got to say. It looks nice. Right, I'm going to leave it there, uh, guys. Uh, thank you for hanging out. If you're uh, still watching, just uh, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. All the usual YouTube things. And uh, I'll be back again soon with some videos. I'm actually going to do some videos on these devices, just to sort of go over them. Um, well, some of the devices. Maybe not all of them, because, you know... I wasn't really interested in the Surface Go and the uh, the mouse. But yeah, I will. Um, I'll do some stuff on that. But take it easy, and I will uh, see you all very soon. Hi. Oh, thanks. Sexy pants. <laughs>